today. You had a good game against Colorado State. How good was it to beat your in-state rival? Uh, for my first time playing in a rivalry game like this, it was, it was definitely great to be able to not only get in there one time, but twice. And just to contribute to help uh, us win the game, too. So it was a great experience. You said it was your first rivalry game on the field the mm -hmm. other day, too. What was that experience like for you? Man, it, was, it, did, it was definitely different from my last school because it, it wasn't this big that it took in that serious. But, man, that, that, that atmosphere and just... Everybody energy and everybody knowing how important this game is to not only just the players on the team, but the people in the community as well. So, I mean, it was great to, to experience it for the first time and actually go out there and get the win. That moment that you and your brother shared pregame, how does that energize you going, going into every matchup? Um, man, that's, that's just something that we do um, since we started playing together, especially at FAU. We plan on the same team. Um, we, 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 we have a uh, strong faith in God, so we make sure we give it up to him, to make sure he cover us and give us the power, the strength, the knowledge to be able to get through the game, you know, and be able to uh, become victorious. But Jonathan, you got a touchdown at the end of the Nebraska game too. How much did that kind of give you confidence going into the next week as well? Uh, it gave me a lot of confidence, because you know, at first I was kind of getting down on myself because it wasn't, it wasn't happening on my term, and so, I just had to keep praying about it, and it's God speak. God um, showed his faith in the Nebraska game, and I just kept building off of it uh, going into Colorado State. So Baylor defense, you guys are facing that's been pretty good against the pass. Mm -hmm. I mean, just in general, they've had some pretty impressive stats defensively. Um, what, what, what are you seeing from them on film, and how do you guys feel like you can, or if, if, there's, if there's certain things you guys can exploit? Uh, they're a very good defense, you know, um, but like I could say, it's, our, it's, it's about us, you know. We, if we if we at our best, no, we nobody can't stop us. Nobody can't be able to play with us. So, I mean, they're great defense. Nothing against them. They, I know they're going to come prepare. We're going to come prepare, and we'll see who the best man is on Saturday. Ajante, what have you seen from Shador just as a, from a leadership standpoint since you showed up here? Oh man, he just his IQ level is on another level. I mean, he done brought my game from here to here. You know, he just keep elevating the guys around him. You no, know, he he want the best for you, not only for you but for himself too. So he gonna push you. He gonna he gonna push those buttons that norm, uh, 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 the coaches or other players not gonna push. You know, cause he know what you can do. He know your potential. So, I mean, that guy is just like another coach on the field. Man. He talked about in the spring that he was a big proponent of wanting you to come to see you. Mm -hmm. What was that like when he reached out to you, and what did that mean to you? I mean, it was great, man. Uh, we we actually been building on this since probably 2021 when he came on the visit to FAU, and um, since then, man, we just been staying in contact and we finally made it happen. So it was definitely a blessing to get that call, you know, to finally get uh, a pro style pro style quarterback who's being talked about as being number one draft pick and this coming up draft pick. So um, it was a blessing to get that call, and you know I'm gonna come through every time he made that call. <laughs> As a, punt re as a punt returner, is it hard to stay patient? And, and how anxious are you to, to break the <laughs> Yeah, I'm very anxious, but I just got to be smart, you know. But they put me back there for a reason. So at the end of the day, I got to trust my abilities. And we gonna y'all going to see one soon. So you just got to be patient. <laughs> Johnson, you left a situation where you were catching almost 10 passes a game. Um, number one guy. To come here where you don't even know when to win because it's my game or not. Um, has that been an adjustment for you, or is that something you knew coming in? I gotta accept that this is my role. Uh, it's something I knew, but it's definitely an adjustment that I also still had to do because once you get the ball that many times that early in the game at your old school, then you come here and don't get it as much. It, it's just something you gotta adjust to. But I knew coming in what 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 I was, what they was wanted from me and what my role was, and I'm gonna play my role to the best so we can be able to win. Because at the end of the day, I came here for us to win, not for my personal goals. How do you feel like your game has developed, like, even outside of catching the ball, like, blocking, things oh, like that? Well, blocking, I've been I've been taking blocking really serious um, since I was at FAU. That's just something my coaches at FAU kind of honed in on me early on in my uh, college career. So blocking, that's just something that I take pride in just because I know if I want, if I got a ball, I would want my, my teammates to block for me. So I'm going to just do the same for them. Last question. How has it been playing with Travis? And talk to me about the type of player that he is, both when he's next to you and in front of you. He's him. Like, 
like yeah, whatever they the, they say on TV and he's him. Like um, some of the things that he do on the field, just it's, it's amazing. It shocks me, you know. But he's that guy, you know. He comes up to work every day and he show up like, and it's effortless. It's effortless. Like that's just him. I mean, it's a blessing to be able to play on on side of a. A guy like that, you know, and I can't wait to see what else he get, he got in store, you know. So that's it. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Have a good day.